Hello Aries, welcome to your mini monthly reading. It's going to be for the second half of November. And today we're taking a look at a connection that you're dealing with, okay? So keep in mind that it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other signs, your moon, rising, Venus, and come here. And if this does resonate, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, comment, share, Whatever you want to do to support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That really helps the channel to grow. So, yeah, also keep in mind that the roles could be reversed. So, always take what serves you and take what doesn't. And don't take what doesn't. Uh, let's see what we have from here. All right. Let's see. Ooh, I love this. I really, I actually love this for you. Um, heart to heart conversations, relig uh, religious factors, and we also have light. And what I love for you is this tree of wisdom. Has this video is posted? I actually think it's the next day that Mars goes direct, if I'm not wrong. But um, and, and with that, I really like this tree wisdom because it's a lot about of being uh, grounded, you know, and with Mars being retrograde in Aries and Mars is the ruler of Aries, things for you were kind of chaotic <laughs> and I'm really sorry for you. Like if I felt it, I imagine how you felt and it's really nice seeing this tree of wisdom because it wasn't for nothing. I, I do feel like you've learned how to be grounded. You've learned how to keep your cool, how to, you know, breathe whenever things didn't go your way. And that's really, really, really awesome. And when it comes to a relationship that you're dealing with, I do feel like there is going to be an interesting, and I say interesting because I'm not really sure if it's going to be... Not that you don't want it, and not that it's going to hurt you, but I feel like it's going to be a lot of secrets, a lot of hidden things, or a lot of things that needed to be said that wasn't, uh, that weren't, they're going to come up. And it's almost like Mars going direct, okay, now Aries can handle the truth. It's almost like that. <laughs> With that religious factors, I'm getting a little bit of the divine timing at hand. And to be honest, like whatever happens here, I do feel like it's going to be for your higher purpose. Especially having this tree of wisdom here. It doesn't matter what is going to happen. I do feel like you're grounded with yourself. I feel like you're secure with yourself. And you don't give a shit. I feel like you've learned how to deal with yourself and how to be happy with yourself. And that is why I feel like it's going to be an interesting conversation because right now I'm not really sure how you're going to react. It could be someone trying to get a reconciliation or something and you're like, yeah, okay. Uh, or you could actually go for it. But I feel like you're going to be more like, okay, thank you, bye. You know, because I feel like you're just more focused on yourself. You're just empowered on yourself. It's like now that Mars is direct, you're like, okay, now nothing can stop me. Honey, I'm not going to care about you for a second. I'm going to care about me 100% because this past few months have been crazy. And it's time for me to reconnect with myself. Okay, but let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Overall energy in the Nine of Pentacles, which is the single lady card. Or the single man, but here is a lady. Um, so it's that thing. It's like, man, sure, you can give me love. You can offer me all that. You may be your, my wish fulfillment, but I'm not going to go for it just like that. I'm going to need time. I'm gonna. Things need to go very slowly. Like, I may love you unconditionally, but I love myself more. There is that groundedness and there is that like wisdom, tree wisdom. That's so beautiful. I really, again, I really like this for you. Because it's like this 
fresh air that you can finally breathe and you're not going to let someone entrap you on inside of a tree because I get you like inside of a tree not being able to get out and not being able to breathe fresh air for so long because everything is against you and now that you are able to get out of that tree and to yeah you've learned your lessons while you were there but now you are able to get out there and be free so you need time to be free that's why if things if you do want this relationship doesn't have to be a reconciliation i was talking about reconciliation but it doesn't have to be i do feel like this is something that you disconnected with a little bit but you're just going to enjoy the time that you have for yourself so if you do want it it's going to be slow but let's see where we go with this yeah someone definitely wanting to connect with you <laughs> yeah um it may even be with this person but i feel like until the end of the year you're you're not up for love you know i feel like you're more focused on your career on your creativity on building things for yourself and not for a relationship on resting and having your peace and not on having your peace or a solid thing in love. I do feel like you're putting love on a hold. And I don't see it as a toxic way, as like a way of you ignoring things or stuff like that. No, I actually see it as a very healthy way. Because during Mars retrograde, you could have thought, um, you know, the Six of Swords. Let's come here. The Six of Swords, it's about going from very... Turmoil, turmoiled waters to calmer waters and I feel like during the Mars retrograde and for the past few months I'm getting like two three months things have been a little bit all over the place and now you're finally getting to this point where you're in calmer waters where you can finally relax and have your me time do the things that you're really passionate about do things for yourself and not for others and so I feel like you're wanting that right now. In the future, with this Ace of Cups here, you may be open to get into a connection in a relationship with this person, maybe with someone else completely different, but not for now. I really get that not for now. And it's not from this person because, I mean, they're in the Three of Pentacles. They do want to build something solid and stable with you. They do want to go for it like, okay... Man, let's just go on a date, let's do this and that and the other, and let's have fun. And you're like, oh, eh, I'm good, thank you. And I feel like that leaves them so confused. But to be honest, I'm not sure that they will give up. I don't think it's... I don't think it's because you say it no that they will walk away. They may be like, well, okay, well... Might as well just give up, but I do feel like they are going to keep thinking about you. And if you do want to return to this person in the future, they will still be there waiting for you, okay? Especially if you explain why you're doing it. Like, hey, I just need time for myself right now. I'm not up for any relationship. I need to heal. I need to just be with myself for some time. And I do feel like they will understand that, okay? But let's clarify some stuff. Let me see. From your side, it's very crystal clear. Let me just clarify your queen of wands. Also, I'm getting that this may actually start as a friends with benefits kind of thing. Uh, and it may be the interesting conversation. It's like the friend with benefits wanting to be more than friends. And... Yeah, I don't think that you're up for it. <laughs> but let's see. So clarifying the Queen of Wands, we have the Five of Cups, Justice, and Two of Pentacles. It's exactly what I was talking about. You need time for yourself. You need time to release, to breathe, to move into calmer waters. I don't feel like you're yet on calmer waters. Maybe around middle December you'll be. You're in that transitioning point where you're balancing stuff, where you're having a lot of work to do where family just wants to talk to you on and on and on and on and you're like hey give me a break and you just need to set yourself free 
for those of you who are still living in your parents' house, I do feel like during this mid-month, the need for your own space, the need for solitude, for peace and quiet may grow a little bit. Not For some of you, you may actually be moving out of your parents' house during this mid-month, but I do feel like you'll start looking at houses, apartments, stuff like that, so you can move later on. But there is just, now is not the time kind of energy for you. Now I need to balance my myself and my life. So let me see the page of wands. On your person side, six of cups, ace of swords, two of swords. Yeah, it's like, um, it's actually funny because one of your complaints, if you had any, uh, if that was the case, could have been that they didn't express themselves enough. And now that they do, you're like, huh, ah, okay, thanks. And that leaves them, what the hell? I thought this is what you wanted, you know? But they're, they miss you. They miss you. They, and they want something more. And I do feel like a lot of communication, if it hasn't happened already, it may happen for quite probably until the end of the month. And because if your response is going to be like, okay, should I stay? Should I go? What, what did that mean? What is happening here? I, I'm not sure how I should act, how I should think, how I should feel. So I'm confused. And let's see the death, cause, uh, death card because that is their next action. Um, but I feel like they will spend a little bit of time like questioning things. Where am I going? How it's my feelings worth pursuing? Or are my feelings worth waiting? And what did I tell you? We have the three of wands, page of cups. Yes, it's worth waiting. I do feel like they will uh, wait until you get through the ten of swords. Until you like you move completely into calmer waters and you're ready for something new. I do really feel like they will wait as long as it takes. And again, especially if you explain the why, they will understand. And they will understand that you're going through a transformation that is needed, not only for yourself, but like if they want a relationship with you, if you're not in a good place, the relationship won't be in a good place. So um, I feel like they will work on their stuff. They will balance themselves if they're not already. I kind of feel like they are. But if there is anything like hidden that needs to come up to light that they need to work on, they will while they wait for you. Okay, let me see the Ace of Cups here. Queen of Swords, Hangman, Ten of Cups. I feel like it's going to be like the last minute. You're going to be resisting it like, oh no, I don't, I don't need... Uh, a ten of cups what no i'm good with my nine of pentacles i'm good i'm fine on my own and i feel like it's just going to go to this point where you're like okay maybe i should consider it or maybe it wouldn't hurt to consider it and i feel like you're going to open yourself to love a little bit okay we also have a dangerous pleasure is i feel like uh it's going to be an, a risk, in a way. Because you're getting out of your comfort zone. And that's why I feel like you're going to be waiting till the last minute. It's, how long can I resist love? And then it's going to come to this place where you can't resist it anymore. You just see the Ten of Cups and you want it, and it's a dangerous pleasure. You gotta go for it. And that is when you're ready to love. It's like, okay, well... Let's just give it a chance. Uh, because you'll know that you'll always... Not, not necessarily be missing something, but... In a way, you will. Because I feel like that's something that you want, is to have a family, is to have... I'm actually... A family not in the way of kids. Interesting. Right now, you may not be very fond of kids. Uh, but like a family with dogs or cats. Uh, pigs. What? Do you want a farm? Maybe. I don't know. I was getting pigs for some reason. Uh, maybe those um, guinea pigs? Could be. But a family, whatever way you can, create a family. You want that. And so you may be putting it off for a second, and you may be putting it off for a very long second, 
and a very long second until you're like, okay, I can't resist this anymore. I just gotta go for it. And I feel like you'll open yourself to that, to that dangerous player. Okay, so let's pull some messages and advice for you. All right. What do we have for Aries? So um, let's actually start here with the, oops, sorry, uh, let's actually start here with the do something that matters, tell them the truth, tell them the reasons why you're not up for anything right now. I was getting that like you owe them the truth, but it's not in the sense that you owe them the truth, it's more in the sense of don't let this go to waste just because you're not up for it right now because this this actually has a potential. Okay? So like be as honest as you can. Okay? Work that ass off. I do feel like right now it's time for you to focus on a career and the things that you have around you. Uh, everything is going to be okay. It's up to you completely. Look at your options. And let's look at your options. I feel like it's in the sense of it's like a motivation for you to tell the truth, for you to say why you're doing this. It's not necessarily look at your options, but it's look at the relationship, look at the person, look at what they can offer you, at what the relationship could grow to. Do you really think that it's not that you'll find better, but it couldn't it be good? I feel like it's, let's put it that way. Couldn't it be good? It could. If you don't feel like it could be good, then I mean, just let it go and move into something new. But if you deep down know that this could actually turn into something good, then don't give up on it completely. And just be honest that now is not the time. But when the time comes, when you feel like you're ready to get out of your comfort zone, and you know, comfort zone is a little issue, but... Hopefully you will turn up in another reading because right now you really need that comfort zone. Um, but whenever you're ready to face the comfort zone and to get out of it, go. Don't think too much. Just go. Okay? But now just career, you, do what you got to do. Okay? So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. hope it helps somehow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.